how do you build mobile responsive websites on WordPress that look good on all devices? Let's take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and this is just your friendly reminder to both hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, in today's digital age, it's crucial to have a website that looks great and works smoothly on all devices, whether it's a computer, a tablet, and especially on mobile phones. That's where responsiveness comes in. It allows your website to adapt to different screen sizes and resolutions, providing a seamless user experience for your visitors, and most importantly, preserving the conversion focus intent behind your pages. Well, in this video, I'm going to be exploring the basics of responsiveness and showing you how to create responsive designs using Thrive Architect. The first principle is to understand that content on page can't simply be replaced for different devices. So in other words, if you make changes to a text element in the mobile view of Thrive Architect, those changes won't only affect mobile devices. This change in text will get updated on desktop and tablet as well. And in a similar way, if you add a link to a text element, this change is also going to get carried over to desktop and tablet as well. This is a common misconception among new Thrive Architect users because you see new users will find themselves typing something on desktop and then they'll switch over to the mobile view of Thrive Architect and make a change there. And then when they switch back over to desktop, they get frustrated because the text element got updated, uh, updated there as well. And they don't understand why this is happening. Well, I'm about to tell you why. To make your sections responsive, you need to follow the second principle, which is to only make changes to your content using the left-hand toolbox of Thrive Architect. If you follow the second principle, you will be able to build responsive sections for each type of device. Let's take a look at how that works. Okay, so as you can see, I have a text element in desktop that reads, this is Tony's homepage. Now, if I switch over to mobile and update this text to read, this is Anna's homepage, you'll see our first responsiveness principle come into play. Since I've updated the text on page, my update has been carried over to all types of devices, but if instead of updating the text, I make any changes to this very same text element using the left-hand toolbar of Thrive Architect, the change is only going to be applied to whatever device view I'm currently editing. I could change the font style for this text element, the font size, the line space underneath it, and even the margins and paddings. And this change would only get applied to whichever device type I'm currently editing. And this same concept applies to any other Thrive Architect element, not just text elements. If I have this background section have a background image, I could have different images for different devices to make sure that they all look great. Since I'm using the left-hand toolbar of Thrive Architect to make the change, the background image can be replaced on a per device basis, meaning I could have one for mobile, one for tablet, and one for desktop without any issues. Now you're probably following just fine up until right now, but you may be asking yourself, okay, Tony, but I do really need these text elements to be different on mobile from the ones that I'm displaying on desktop. And that's where the third principle comes into play. The third principle is to use Thrive Architect's responsiveness settings to create sections of your website that are mobile or desktop exclusive. Now, why would we ever wanna do this? Well, like I said earlier, there will be scenarios where you simply can't get something on desktop to look great on mobile devices, or there may simply be better ways of displaying some sections of your website in a different way on mobile than the way in which they're being displayed on desktop. I typically bump into this scenario, especially when I'm working with the header of my websites. And you can take a look at how Apple does this on their website. They have a completely different style of header on desktop from the one that they use on mobile. Let's jump over to Thrive Architect to show you how you can do this really easily. All right, so to build Apple's header, we need one content box in our header that will serve as our header for desktop devices and another content box that will serve as our header for mobile devices. And we can customize each of these to make sure that they look great for each device. And once we're happy with them, we can simply tell Thrive Architect, hey, make sure to only display this content box on desktop and be sure to only display this other content box on tablet and mobile. And this is why the responsiveness setting inside Thrive Architect is so important. It lets you build sections of your website that are fully responsive because they only show up in whatever device you tell Thrive Architect to display them. Now, 
You don't want to fall under the trap of building one page for desktop and one page for mobile for all of your pages. That would be very painful to maintain and update over time. You want to really only use this in specific scenarios where you think the desktop version can't be optimized for mobile using the left-hand toolbox of Thrive Architect. And it really is that easy. If you take these principles to heart and start applying them in your web design process, you'll find that you can build any website and have it look great on both desktop and mobile devices. Going to be in the comment section down below in case you have any questions. It's been a real pleasure and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.